Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Green Planet. In the last video, we got the molehole mine built up. We also put a first monument down, and we also got some more carbonate processors. We are spiraling into a cold wave. That's going to be giving us some problems as we go into this video. But this core heat convector, this one, is going to keep most of the colony warm. Now the other option is I could put a second one down. Kicker is these things are kind of expensive. Um, they take 50, um, actually no, uh, hmm. It does take 50 electricity, but it also would speed up the terraforming. It would speed up the heating process. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn off my GHG factories. Because this thing is doing plenty on its own. Plus, I need to keep the fuel for the rockets. I think I'm going to need to kick this guy up, actually. Well... Are the artificial sun researched yet? No, I don't. I was, oh yeah, I, yes I do. Right, it's going to take 300 polymers to build. It is going to give me a thousand uh, electricity, but there's also something else that we could do instead, and that is the fusion reactor. Let's go ahead and kick that up to the top. Farm automation is really good. Hypersensitive photovoltaics, that's a breakthrough that we got in the last video. We're going to go ahead and kick this up to the top. Also need to bring down some more colonists, and I have, oh yeah, look, here's some colonists on the way. Um, this one is one machine part shy of going to a capture ice asteroids mission. But it'll bring the, uh, okay. Hmm. I think they'll figure themselves out. All right, rocket's almost here. Um, most of these people are going to be heading down into this dome, so I'll actually just bring it right on top of that. Uh, we do have 15 folks, or 15 available jobs. Those are going to fill up very quickly, and I'll probably drop down... Um, I'm probably going to say another machine parts factory. Another polymer factory is desperately needed, but I think machine parts take a little bit of priority here. So... Yeah, this is off. Good. Oh! New colonists have we have a genius colonists religious glutton. Departing. That's kind of cool. Okay. Now let's arrange for some jobs. There, there it is. There are earth -sick colonists. Full beans machine parts factory. We'll put that right there. Alright, what is this dome missing? Shopping, drinking, dining. Wait a minute. Drinking are full. Now let's put a large park in here too. That'll be helpful for the folks. A large garden. And man, this rocket's already ready to go back. Uh, let's see. So we have that going. Capture meteors doesn't really help us right now. And of course, we do have the uh, forestation plants. Yeah, this one's this one's off for the moment. Hmm. Wait a minute, hang on. I could fix this really quick. Go go polymer blades. It's gonna take most of my. Uh, it's gonna take pretty much all the polymers I have left, but every building that doesn't have them, we're going to be fine now. Oh, wait a minute. We're actually are producing some of these, so let's go ahead and put that into play. I do have a lot of rare metals set up here. Let's go ahead and do this like a five. And then... I'm just going to queue this up. Turn that off right away. And then... I'm going to stick a fusion reactor right next to this thing. It's actually something that can go kind of tucked in next to it. Uh, it's not working. Okay, I find you need seeds. whoop de do. Got another uh, enthusiast gamer genius composed. That's a nice setup. If he was a goober, I'd be even happier. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do factory AI. We do have a Martian University slowly um, taking care of that stuff. This will not come online until we get through this next uh, cold wave. 
easily. Resources are low. All right, we do have kids in there, so let's see. Is the school being filled? Yes, it is. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a couple of nurseries. Then a playground. We'll move the kids out of here, just so there's more residences available for them. Okay, we got a small grocer here, a full-size grocer. What's this dome missing right now? Social and relaxation. Well, let's throw a gym down, too. Yeah, you're ready to go. Head on back, please. All right, cool. We got a little bit of power being produced as well. Cold wave is going to kick up. I'll probably turn my carbonate processors off during that, just because I don't need to crank this up right away. And then, of course, the water, absolutely, we're going to keep going within the forestation plants. We cannot turn off at all. These have to stay on the line. And by staying on the line, I mean they actually need to have production to them. One, two... Okay, so if this one starts working, it'll go up to 0 0.04. We have no, oh yeah, we have no seeds available, that's why. Alright, and with the ice asteroids mission, it'll actually kick it up so we can start doing herbs. There are Earthsick colonists. And also potatoes. i make sure we're doing those two to uh, kind of offset the soil ba balance here, so... Of course, I can't even uh, select it yet. All right, here we go. Cold wave coming in. Turn the processors off. Uh, these tanks are going to freeze. Complete. Okay, you can see we do have one section still going. This don't. This already. Wow, that froze quickly. But we're still getting a little bit of water going in here. Resources are low. Mm, yeah, they are. Thankfully, this is still producing power. I'm going to turn that one back on, actually. Okay, because it's in a cold zone, it's using double the temperature, or double the power. It is kind of unfortunate, because... Hang on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just do this one back and forth. There we go. Right. Because we're in first shift right now. It's done. Let's go, guys. Cool. We actually have our ramp now. This is very helpful for us. Um, hey, hey. Which somehow made it all the way down here right away. Is doing his thing. I believe there is another... Yes, there is. Perfect. There's a metals in a polymer depot here. We can uh, take everything to that. And the shuttles, which I really hope are still operating, will be able to do everything. Let's go ahead and get you all patched up. Once they're all patched up, I will go ahead and send them all home. Or dismantling. All right, let's take my seeker over here. Power, how much power we got stored on the grid? Oh, we're fine. It's the machine parts that are the issue. Hmm. That tea is still incredibly hot. All right. So what are we working on now? We're working on large-scale excavation, so it's going to guarantee an endless supply of concrete. Oh, and the molehole mine. I didn't realize this. Usually when I get to this point in the game, the mole, uh, I'm not dealing with cold waves, but the molehole mine actually generates a little uh, area of warm ground, too. Neat. So the shuttles are going, so go ahead and request repairs on you. Oh.
I didn't realize there was still one up there. One up here. And here are the other three. Nothing to request repairs for you. I'll just wait till they're all up there and then we'll just mass dismantle them. Now we're gonna get a Mars Quake from this, I can't I know that. Okay, he's fine. Bring you down here. Alright, so we got a Mars Quake. And almost put us to 10% water, which is perfect, because that means... Oh, and because the lakes are frozen. Crap. Eh, that actually makes sense when you think about it. Go ahead and bring you down here. I'm going to perch you up near the base. We'll find a purpose for you soon. We'll probably do two rounds of herbs, and then... I'll probably do another Ice Asteroid mission right away, just to get me up to the cover crops. I was not paying attention to as to how much projects needed. I think it said 100? Oh, getting some frame drops. Every dang time. We'll get that out of the way. We'll get away from the colony there. I have no idea why it's doing that still. Alright, cold waves over. Turn Resources you back on. They're still on, okay. We'll autosave. I think it's going pretty smooth right now. Okay, let's go ahead and request repairs. You too. Oh, dang, he's up here. I didn't even realize that. How did I miss so many were up here? That is so stupid. My Resources words. Are low. Okay, you. Go ahead and... Okay. So it actually does have seeds on board. Oh, Ice Asteroid. Ooh, yes. We've discovered a giant Ice Asteroid in close proximity. If we manage to redirect it and bring it down, it'll provide pr plenty of frozen water for our terraforming effort. We can achieve this by mounting engines on the icy rock and by guiding it to crash on Mars. Giant cra asteroid crashing onto a planet, what could go wrong? Uh, we send drones to operate the engines and steer it on a collision course, sends the, uh, unlocks a mission. Um, if we were an ecologist or a rocket scientist, or a futurist in this playthrough, uh, we could send drones and a team to extract and then detonate in orbit. If we were an astrogeologist or a hydroengineer, we could lead a team to mount the interesting crash on the other side of Mars. So this one gives us the most. We're at 8% of atmosphere right now, 10% on water. You can thicken up that, so let's actually do this one. Yeah, cancel that expedition. Let's unload everything from them. Wow. Five drones, 20 fuel. Colonists are departing. That's cute, you think you're leaving. But they still have to unload everything before they can do that stuff. Let's go ahead and hey, look. My open farm is working, yay. Um, get some bad soil quality over here. Hopefully that'll get addressed by the forestation plant. And we're out of seeds. Yeah, that was going to happen very quickly, unfortunately. Um, you're pretty much... This is going to be the last wheat I do from this one. I'll probably just go... Probably put another outside ranch down, actually. 
10 available jobs. We got housing. We're almost capped there. Almost capped there. Almost capped there. Oh, wow. 13 kids have already been born in the dome. That's wonderful. I'm actually going to add a night shift to the school. Oh, right, we're losing water because of this thing. I'm going to need more vaporators built soon. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Some jackass stole some food. I'm going to wait till that one's built. And then I'll, uh, where would the next one seem to be? You guys request some repairs. And he, these guys just arrived, which is perfect. Alright, bring you down here. And of course, when you demo these guys, you get 20 metals and 10 electronics, which is really helpful. Guys down too. Okay, let's head you on over here. I didn't even realize this one. Completely missed. This one has, must have been taken out by the... Just a line of destruct, uh, line of missile batteries. Now I think putting another lake down makes a lot of sense. I could put one like way up here. Uh oh. <laughs> the ice rocket. The rocket returned after successfully steering the asteroid to the surface. We were congratulating ourselves, but then the distant th when the distant thunder indicated the impact. So we gained three water. We lost five drones, and we just started a Mars quake. So we had three dam buildings damaged in that. The arcology was damaged. That was damaged by the quake. And of course, we actually we have a bunch of extra drones. So we got thirteen there. 27 there, 10 there. And now we'll go ahead and do the Capture Ice Asteroids mission again. I think also this video I need to Get some more fuel production going. I think fuel would be kind of good to put over here. Or if I want to build out further, kind of like toward this section, that would work. This gives me a 15%. Oh, what the heck? Why, do I, why don't I have a Hawking Institute in here? Just not realizing that. This building absolutely needs a Hawking Institute. Yeah, let's get that built, because we got a 35% boost to research in this area, on this research site, so that's really good. Okay. Bring you down here. We'll go grab him, and we're good. I may have to, bring, I may have to build a couple of hay hays at some point. That's right there. We're almost done with a large-scale excavation, orbital engineering, hypersensitive photovoltaics. Um, that's always a good one to get, and so is that. And with the terraforming boost, we're actually starting to get a little bit more water with each mission. Each little... Nope, no, 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 cancel that one. Okay. Is on that. Alright, we got a network node prefab. I'm just gonna put these two for the moment just because as long as this guy's here, we'll have problems. Absolutely go ahead and upgrade you. Oh, 
Doesn't go to the school, though. That's a problem. Alright, we're gonna need another school. Let's do that. We could probably put another electronics factory down here, and we'd be really good. Dust storm approaching. Yay! That's gonna give me a ton of extra power. Also, it's gonna cause a problem for my... My vaporators. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. And also, these guys consume fuel, so... Need to work that one out in my head. Electronics running a little low. Fuel is incredibly low right now. We have three left. A religious imposed survivor. There we go. Yeah, methinks we need to put some more fuel down here. So let's go ahead. I'm actually just going to go right along this central axis in the colony. Three more should do it. And I know what the... I think the recommendation in-game is... It's one fuel refinery... Research complete. Per shuttle hub. But also, since I'm spending a crap load of fuel on each of these things... I can't believe I didn't amplify first. That's taking up power. Okay. Perfect. Right, we'll bring the seeker back. Why do I have? Oh, that's right. I had that there for the for the defenses. Let's try and turn that off. And down here, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna turn off the wheat. I'll go ahead and do the automation too. They'll get rid of this uh, person who really isn't needed. And as soon as this. Uh, I guess harvests. We're just going to go straight into cover crops, and we're just going to do cover crops here alone. Mine. Maybe herbs. But the cover crops is all we need. Alright, let's go ahead and... Actually, we'll do this. let's make it fun. Actually, no. Let's get this guy here. We'll demo them all at the same time, and let's go... And be gone. What a food problem. It's a no-available-people problem. Alright, cool beans, watch this go. And plop. Hey look, a bunch of metals and electronics. Ta-da, it's magic. Okay. Got the fusion reactor going. Show me. Oh. Go ahead and uh, shut that building down. That's actually good because that puts more workers back into the workforce. Granted, I don't need geologists in this colony. Geologists are kind of worthless to me because I've got most of the stuff I need coming out of here, uh, metals and rare metals wise. Um, I need engineers. That's what uh, engineers for this. Engineers, I think, are best here. Yeah, best workers, engineers, botanists, scientists. If this is a mining heavy mission, like over here, yeah, geologists would absolutely be welcome, but don't really need them right now. Okay, let's go ahead. If I put the artificial sun down here, which I'm just checking, let me check one thing real quick. I can do two megadomes, like just megadome, megadome back to back. It would take up the space for the artificial sun, mind you. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just, just going to start planning that out. And the artificial sun will go kind of like over here, I guess. Yeah, it's a good spot for an artificial sun. 300 polymers, which I definitely don't have. Project Morpheus. That's what I should probably go for next. Or the excavator, because the excavator is going to guarantee I have as much concrete as I need. It's always one of those tricky things you run into in the late game. 
once you get past the mystery, once the colony is somewhat sustaining on its own, is which wonders do you prioritize? For me, usually I go molehole mine first, but since this is Europe and Europe has a heavy research focus, I usually, I went for the Omega Telescope here. Molehole mine though will give you all the metals and all the rare metals you need to keep the colony up and running while you build everything else. The excavator will give you all the concrete you need for everything else. Artificial Sun guarantees your power. Project Morpheus guarantees your colonists will be better. Uh, space Elevator, which is still being researched right now. This just guarantee, this will export all the rare metals you want back to Earth super fast and also bring stuff down super quick. Last one, the Geoscape Dome. Um, I'm personally not huge on this one. Um, this dome has high comfort and increases the sanity of every of its inhabitants on every soul. At the same time, once you get into the late, late, late game, when the, pri when the planet has been terraformed enough, the dome just opens up. And does, I don't know if it actually still increases the sanity of those Resources folks every day. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I know how to fix this. Go ahead. You put one of those down here. Actually, no. I'm going to reposition it so it's better. And kind of tuck it in. There we go. Tuck it in the corner. Got 138 food. Granted, I could do a quick, like, metals for food trade. And let's see if anybody's willing to go for that. Metals for the food. China. We'll give them 118 food for 50 metal. Done. All right, we've got that guy up and running. We are 12 hours out. From the dust storm. Let's see if we can get another one of these guys up and running. There we go. I think the nanites are doing all this on their own. Nope, we got one guy drunk delivering stuff. This guy's delivering polymers to get the hygroscopic coating up. Just need one nanite. One, I guess the nanites don't do the metal or the polymers, do they? I'm actually looking at the research bar real quick. Oh. So you have resources from nearby nearby resource depots. Hmm. You'd think they would be able to grab a polymer from here if there were any polymers there. That would do it. Okay, so we got a dust storm coming in. This is kind of meh right now. I'm going to wait till after this next dust storm, which is starting now. Okay, good. Their rocket is actually here, so we can pull the food off during the dust storm. We'll be fine. We've also got a bunch of pigs being collected. Kill. There we go. Look at that. There's the food coming up and running. All right, so this is this dust storm is going to take a couple of days. We got a crap load of extra power going to the grid. In fact, we've already topped off the batteries. Probably make more battery storage if I can. Also got these two mega domes going to be built. Uh, I'd probably say next weekend. I'd like to build at least one of them. Um, this one obviously has been since before the time travel that we did. Definitely want to get that going, and then this guy too. Uh, it'll be a later project. Carbonate processor, we're not having any loss of atmosphere yet. We're going to get it soon. Eventually the atmosphere will start to eh, thin out a bit. But we're going to get away from the cold waves here in the next few, in the next probably say three videos. We're going to get away from that. Um, we're going to get to a point where we can actually start making more seeds. Once that's done, it's going to really just kind of explode from there. Uh, definitely want to, with the brain stop, sorry 
With the four station plants and the superior cables and pipes, I could actually just build a nice big network of four station plants around the planet, around this high ground, and just kick this up as much as possible. Because unfortunately, these things only go 0 0.01 per day each. So if I can get 15, 20, 30 of them up and running, all the better. I could also level this thing out, which actually, let's go ahead and get ready for that. If I level this whole section out, it allows a lot more free ground. I could probably put a capital city there. Nope, there are no deposits near this, so it doesn't really help me all that much. But with metals deposits, the rare metals deposits up here, I can easily get up to just put a dome out there, just a frontier dome. And the water that I can pull from here, from down here, this is still a goal too, infinite water, essentially. Getting that all squared away. I'd probably be in a good position over the next few weeks, but definitely getting the forestation plants up and running to kick this up to 40%, because that's the max you can go with four stations. We'd be in really good shape. I've gone over my time here. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.